Okay, so I have a string here, and what I'd like to do is uh, get rid of things that appear in it. So you'll notice it has the word um a bunch of times, and maybe I want to get rid of those. So here is what I'm going to do. I am going to um, make a target, and it's going to be the word um. Okay, and what I would like to do in, I'm going to put a space in it just so it's easiest because what I want to do is when I remove this, I don't want these two spaces to be left. Um, that'll be weird for the spacing of my words. So I'm going to get rid of this whole little sequence anytime it appears. So I'm going to make that my target. And what I'm going to do is I am going to do some searching. So let me make a variable called found. Write my usual do while I look to look for this thing. So I want to keep going while found is not equal to negative one. And I am going to look within this thing, and I'm going to search for my target at wherever I found the last one plus one. So the first time it will start at zero, since negative one plus one is zero. And if I found it, if this guy's not negative one, then I want to take some action. The action I want to take is to get rid of this business. So the trick to getting rid of something is to essentially snap this string into pieces around this thing I want to get rid of, and then just reassemble it um, as I go. So if I find it, I'm going to take this guy, and I want to reassemble it into the pieces that don't have the first um. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say take the um substra from 0, and if I found this at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, at position 6, I want to keep one, two, three, four, five, six letters, so that's convenient. So I'm going to go up to found, okay? And then I'm going to take the substra from past where I found this thing. So I'm going to go to found plus, and I save this in a variable so I don't have to count. I can just straight up say go to this guy's length and start after that and take the rest of the string. So it should, as it finds these, erase them by essentially taking up to that spot and then after that spot and essentially rejoining those sections. And it should repeat that as it goes through the loop. And if I don't have any weird mistakes, then when I print this out, uh, did I put it, uh, yeah. When I print this out at the bottom, all the ums should be gone. Let's see if it worked. These are my words, and I want to stop talking like this. All the ums are gone. Awesome.